Hello and welcome to another episode of the Costa Zara Show. Today's episode we are going to be talking about is the history of El Toro of Six Flags Great Adventure. It is season 2 episode 8. And this is the Costa Zara Show. So what is El Toro? Well, El Toro, Spanish for the bull, is a wooden roller coaster located at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson Township, New Jersey, USA. Designed by Intamin of Switzerland, the wooden coaster opened to the public on the 11th of June, 2006. Intamin contracted Rocky Mountain Construction, RMC, to build the ride, and the coaster's track was prefabricated, allowing for quicker installation and lower construction costs. When it opened, it had the steepest drop of any wooden roller coaster in the world at 76 degrees, until the record was broken by T-Express in 2008 by 1 degree. Overall, its structure height of 181 feet, 55 meters, is ranked 4th. Its drop height of 176 feet, 54 meters, is ranked 2nd, and its top speed of 70 miles per hour, 110 kilometers per hour is ranked third among all wooden roller coasters in the world. Lightning Rod previously was the fastest wooden coaster in the world, but as the RCDB reports, 57% of its track was replaced with Rocky Mountain Construction's iBox track. Formally classifying it as a steel coaster, it was also the first wooden roller coaster to use a cable lift as opposed to the traditional chain lift. El Toro is the main attraction of the Mexican theme section, Plaza del Carnival. It replaced Viper, a Togo sit-down looping roller coaster that used to operate in 1995 until it closed permanently in 2004 due to technical difficulties. After departing from the station, the train makes a turn to the left, passing through the ride structure. It then begins to climb the 181-foot, 55-meter, tall cable lift hill. Once the entire train is on the lift the cable increases its speed to around 13 miles per hour. Once at the top of the lift the speed of the cable gently slows down, but it is barely noticeable on the ride. After cresting the top of the lift, the train briefly travels forward and makes a 180 degree turn to the left. It then drops 176 feet, 54 meters, at a 76 degree angle, reaching a top speed of 70 miles per hour. 110 kilometers per hour. As the train reaches the bottom of the drop, it comes close to the track above, creating a head chopper effect. It then travels up a 112 foot, 34 meter, camelback hill followed by a second camelback hill at 100 feet, 30 meters. It then rises and then travels through a 180 degree downward bank turn to the right, and up another bank turn to the left. The train goes through a small second hill that speeds past the station and the lakeside. The train then makes another turn and up a smaller hill where riders experience minus to G forces on an ejector at time hill. After coming down the drop, the train snakes through twists and turns. After coming out of the twister section, the train slows down as it moves through small S-curve camelback hills and into the brake run. The duration of the ride is 1 minute and 42 seconds. The wooden track is approximately 4,400 feet, 1,300 meters, in length and the height of the lift is approximately 181 feet, 55 meters. El Toro operates with two trains with six cars per train. Riders are arranged to a cross in three rows for a total of 36 riders per train. It has a theoretical capacity of 1,000 to 100 guests per hour. El Toro means the bull in Spanish, which is the theme of the ride. The trains are themed as bulls with bull heads on the front. The ride's queue is surrounded by the southwestern style buildings of Plaza del Carnival, and also has abandoned wagon wheels and Spanish posters along a wall separating the queue from the ride. When El Toro debuted, it broke records as the second tallest and fastest with the second longest drop of a wooden roller coaster in the United States. As of 2016, El Toro has the 4th fastest speed, the 4th tallest lift, and the 2nd longest drop. When the ride debuted, it ranked 3rd for Best New Ride of 2006 in the Golden Ticket Awards. El Toro is one of the tallest, fastest, and deepest drop on a wooden roller coaster. 
and it is the fourth tallest wooden roller coaster in the world along with the other three are Colossus at Heidi Park in Germany, Balder and Liseberg in Sweden, and T-Express at Everland in South Korea. Question of the day, what's your opinion on El Toro Six Flags Great Adventure? Please let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, thanks for watching. And I will see you all in the next video.